I've just found that people find time for the things that are important to them. And when you hear someone say like, oh man, I wish I had this, or I wish I did that, or man, I just, I want this. No, you don't. Like, what do you mean? You don't, you don't want that. Like if you wanted that, your actions would show that and your actions aren't showing that. So, you know, prove it to somebody with your actions. Big difference between saying what you want and actually proving it. It's funny almost, but certainly interesting that we find time for things that are important. And that if something was truly important, we would make the time. Right. And it just boils down to that they haven't put that level of importance on that thing, which they're saying they don't have time for. The majority of people struggle, and this is huge, the majority of people struggle in this area, and here's why. They major in minor things. That's one of the smartest things I've ever heard. They major in minor things, and they spend not enough time on the things that are actually important. Yep. They spend all their time on the things that, that really don't matter. Irrelevant. And if you know you have to make 50 calls in a day, then it doesn't matter the obstacles that come up. You just, you make your 50 calls. If you knew with 100% certainty that making 50 calls a day was gonna lead to success, how could you possibly do 40? How could you possibly do 45? How could you possibly do 47? Quite frankly, I'd rather you do zero and spend the day with your family. So we create this standard with which we live our life based on the things that we know we need to do to accomplish what we want to accomplish. So how do you stay in charge? A couple of ways you can do that is number one, by writing or having a written set of goals. So obviously you should have goals, but having them on you, like on your person, like mine are on my phone, um, but whether you have that written down on paper, whether you have it on your phone, or you have it somewhere where you can look at it throughout the day and, and basically know where you're at. Uh, the next thing is prioritizing those goals based on what's most important, least important. It's just figuring out what are those key things and getting those things done before even thinking about doing anything else every single day. Sometimes I find myself spending too much time on minor tasks because those minor tasks are easy to accomplish and easy to like, okay, done, check, done, oh, check, I get to done, check, check, this check off. done, check. Right. And you feel at the end of the day like you've done all these things, but you left out the major stuff that actually <laughs> matters. That actually matters. Yeah. And so if you think about that, am I majoring in minor things? Um, that is a huge, huge area for improvement. Big time. So have you ever heard that um, that story where the guy's got like this big glass jar, he's got a bunch of big rocks and a bunch of pebbles and a bunch of sand. Have you ever heard that story before? So I mean, to me, that that's it. And like, for those of you that haven't heard that story, it's, you know, how do you fit all this stuff into the jar? And you start with the big rocks first, and then you sprinkle in the smaller rocks and it kind of fits in all in those little uh, gaps and nooks and crannies. And then you pour the sand in last or the water, whatever it is, um, and it all fits. But if you were to start at the smallest and move to the biggest, it wouldn't fit and so i think the key to that is making sure you're just prioritizing those things that you do um and like just literally rank them out like what are, what's most important and what are the things that you know that you just don't like to do that you need to get out of the way or you're not going to do it at all and just knock those out first that whole uh, eat the frog i guess <laughs> and uh to me that's to me that's it man uh